Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today on our 2019 Ford Ranger, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Pollock 6-pole trailer connector. On the front of our Ranger, we have our Pollock 6-pole connector mounted and ready to go. And with it like this, it's going to work perfect for our flat towing needs. Now the socket housing itself is made from a zinc die cast metal which means it's going to hold up really well to the elements and prevent any rust or corrosion. And in my opinion too, this being on the front of a truck, it just gives it that more off-road rugged look. It has a spring-loaded cap, that way when you're not using it, that cap will sit firmly against our opening and help keep any dirt and debris and weather out of our terminals. On the bottom side of the cap, it also has a tab, which what that'll do is when you plug your connector in, it'll catch on your connector and help prevent it from accidentally getting removed. Now one thing I like is the size of our plug. It's going to be relatively small, and that's going to give us a lot of mounting options here on the front of our Ranger. If we take our coiled six-way cord and plug it in, it's going to fit nice and snug inside, and that's going to help ensure a proper connection. And here you can see that tab, how it pushes against our plug and helps keep it in place. Now many of our customers said that the plug works perfectly and they really haven't had any issues with it. Although a couple of them did say that they had a little bit of problems with the terminals starting to rust inside. Well, one way to prevent that is to pick up some dielectric grease and put it on those terminals and that'll help protect them from the elements. Now that we went over some of the features, let's go ahead and wire it up together. Now in most cases when it comes to flat towing a vehicle, most setups will require the use of a six-way connector like this. In our particular application, that's exactly what we need. So let's go ahead and hook this up. We're going to first start by stripping our wires back a little bit and then we can peel back some of the insulation. Next we're going to remove this set screw in the housing. That way our terminal can come out. We'll open up the lid and poke that terminal out. And what we're going to do is take our housing and run our wires through it. Just push it up out of the way for now. And if we look on the back of our terminal, we're going to have six openings with some set screws. Now it may be difficult to see, but there is some lettering on each one and that lets us know what terminal is for what. So the set screws that we're going to want to back off so we can put our wires inside, one will be marked T. And that T will be for the tail lights. One will be marked a G, and that'll be for our ground. And the last two that we're gonna need to loosen up will be L for left turn, and R for our right turn. So before we put our wires into the terminal, I like to use some dielectric grease just to help prevent any corrosion or anything like that. Now we can start hooking our wires up. We'll start with the white wire, which is our ground wire, so that will go to G. So all you do is push it down into the opening, and we'll run down our set screw to keep that wire secure. And then do our brown wire, which will be for our tail lights. Same thing for the last two wires. And I just repeated that process to connect the rest of our wires. And what I like to do once they're all hooked up is just take some more dielectric grease and smear it around. That way we can ensure our connections will remain clean. Once that's done, we can then feed our terminal back into the housing. You might have to kind of twist and turn it a little bit to get our set screw hold and line back up. 
And once we have it lined up, we can run our set screw back down in there. That way our terminal won't move. Now at this point, this is when you could mount your six-way plug to a bracket. Now in our case, our base plate kit came with a bracket to mount it to, so that's the one that we're gonna use. However, if your base plate doesn't have or didn't come with a bracket, you can find a few different styles here at eTrader.com. Now with everything hooked up, we can test it to make sure it's working properly. Now I'm just using a tester, but if you don't have one of these, you can just hook up to your motorhome and do it that way. All right, so now we'll go ahead and power it up and check our tail lights, our left turn, our right turn, and our brake lights. And that'll do it for our look at and our installation of the Pollock six-pole trailer connector on our 2019 Ford Ranger.